Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the indoor blower wheel in this Carrier Gree ETAC heat pump unit, you will need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver and a power drill with a 5 16th inch socket. Before you begin, be sure to turn the unit off and disconnect the power supply. When performing this procedure, you will need to fully uninstall the unit from the wall. To do this, remove the unit's front panel by pulling the bottom of the panel out to release it from the tabs, then lift up. If applicable, disconnect the wall thermostat wire connector and the energy management wire connector. Using the power drill with the 5 16th inch socket, Unthread the four mounting screws, securing the unit to the wall sleeve. Now have an assistant help you to slide the unit out of the sleeve and set it on a towel or blanket. Now unthread the six screws securing the discharge air screen. Set the screen aside. Insert the number two Phillips head screwdriver into the slot in the blower wheel to loosen the blower wheel set screw. Using the number two Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the three screws to release the left side mounting bracket. Now unthread the screw securing the blower wheel side access cover. Lift the cover up and out. Unthread the three screws to release the bearing cover. With the cover detached, you can pull out the old blower wheel. Before you attempt to install the new indoor blower wheel, confirm the set screw is loose. Now insert the blower wheel through the indoor blower housing and onto the motor shaft making sure the flat portion of the shaft aligns with the set screw. Realign the bearing cover and thread the screws to secure. Reposition the side access cover and secure it with the screw. Reposition the mounting bracket and thread the screws. Center the new blower wheel in the housing, then tighten the set screw. Reposition the discharge air screen and rethread the six screws to secure.
Reinstall the unit by sliding it into the wall sleeve until the seal rests against the front of the sleeve. Rethread the mounting screws to secure the unit. Avoid over tightening the screws. Reconnect the wall thermostat and energy management wire connectors, if applicable. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs over the top rail, then push the bottom of the panel in until it snaps into place. Restore power to the unit, and the ETAC heat pump system should be ready for use.